medical emergency 33 miles off the coast. It happened to an elderly woman off La Jolla last night. And new at 5:30, 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins has the hurdle that the Coast Guard crew was up against. There was concern a Hilo rescue would only agitate her symptoms, so the crew hopped on this boat and headed out. When uh, we go out and we interact with the public, most of the time it's it's going to be their worst day. Michael Innes spent years as a car mechanic. A lot of the stuff that I've performed in the Coast Guard is never anything I would have thought I'd be doing. Now he keeps the 45-foot rescue boat up and running. It's what he was tasked with Monday night. We were sitting in the duty room playing video games. They were about to go to bed at the end of the holiday weekend when the alarm sounded. We all jumped up and actually more than just our crew jumped up and ran into the station to get ready to go. An 81 year old woman had a heart attack on the Carnival Imagination. She was 33 miles offshore and the Coast Guard's flight surgeon said not to send a helo. Do you believe the stress from getting hoisted to a helicopter could aggravate her uh, symptoms. Innes' crew rescued her and brought her worried husband on board. She was wearing an oxygen mask, but she didn't need to talk. You can see it in her eyes that she seemed grateful that we were there. The boat was fine, but she was cold. And we were able to get her some blankets and warm her up, kind of tuck her feet in. As the engineer, Innes didn't think he'd be tucking an elderly woman's toes in, but he knows the next call could be your loved one or his. If it was a family member that I had that was on a cruise ship, I would want the same thing. Hannah Mullins, 10 News. And you know, Memorial Day kicks off the official boating season. You probably know the basics, but we want to remind you, remember, tell somebody where you're going and also when you're coming back.